Hello guys, welcome to Coding. Ubuntu is widely recognized as one of the most popular Linux-based operating systems, boasting a considerable user base. However, Ubuntu encompasses various flavors, each offering a distinct experience. Two primary variants exist, the stable release and the long-term support, LTS, edition. Moreover, Ubuntu further diverges into specific versions tailored for different use cases. These include Ubuntu Cloud, Ubuntu Core, Ubuntu Desktop, and Ubuntu Server. In this video, we will focus on highlighting the disparities between Ubuntu Server and Ubuntu Desktop, enabling you to understand their unique characteristics and functionalities. To better understand the disparities between Ubuntu Desktop and Ubuntu Server, let's first establish the concept of a server. Servers typically come in two primary form factors, rack mount and tower. While a tower server shares similarities with a desktop, it possesses distinct hardware components geared towards longevity, stability, and security. For example, tower servers often utilize error code correcting RAM, which is not commonly found in non-server desktops. Additionally, servers typically do not include peripherals like monitors, keyboards, and mice. Running a server without these peripherals is known as a headless setup. Server software comprises the operating system itself, along with server-specific software such as Apache for hosting websites or CUPS for print server functionality. Security software is also crucial in server environments. With that context, Ubuntu Server is an operating system specifically designed for server machines, based on the Ubuntu distribution. It is a streamlined version of Ubuntu Desktop that includes essential tools and packages necessary for setting up and managing a server machine. Multiple differences highlight the contrast between Ubuntu Desktop and Ubuntu Server. The primary distinction lies in the desktop environment. Ubuntu Desktop includes a GUI, while Ubuntu Server does not. Servers typically run headless, without a traditional keyboard, mouse, and monitor setup. Instead, they are managed remotely via SSH. Ubuntu Server assumes a lack of GUI, but it can be set up if desired. Ubuntu Desktop is equipped with applications for regular use, such as productivity suites, multimedia software, and web browser. In contrast, Ubuntu Server focuses on server-specific packages, catering to email servers, file servers, web servers, and Samba servers. Packages like Bind9 and Apache 2 are included, prioritizing connectivity with clients and security. The installation process differs between Ubuntu Server and Desktop. Ubuntu Desktop follows a standard software installation approach, while Ubuntu Server utilizes a process-driven menu that provides more flexibility in configuring the base system. Ubuntu Server, by default, does not include a GUI, potentially offering better system performance. Without the overhead of managing a desktop environment, resources can be dedicated to server tasks. However, real-world performance can be influenced by the specific software installed. Resource-intensive server software can impact performance, just as using Ubuntu Desktop solely for word processing may not fully leverage server capabilities. Comparing default installations of Ubuntu Server and Ubuntu Desktop on identical machines will generally show better performance for the server, but software choices can influence the outcome. Understanding these differences allows users to choose the appropriate Ubuntu variant based on their specific requirements and use cases. Choosing Ubuntu Server over Ubuntu Desktop should not be a completely unfamiliar experience, especially if you have prior knowledge of the command line and SSH. There are key similarities between the two variants, including the kernel and support provided by developers. Since Ubuntu 12.04, both Ubuntu Server and Ubuntu Desktop utilize the same kernel. This allows you to install any package on either variant. Although default installations differ, you have the flexibility to customize your Ubuntu flavor as needed. For example, you can start with Ubuntu Server and later add a desktop environment if running headless becomes impractical. Alternatively, you can begin with Ubuntu Desktop and add the necessary packages to transform it into a server. The shared core Ubuntu kernel ensures compatibility regardless of the initial installation differences. There is no distinction in support between Ubuntu Server and Desktop Editions. Prior to Ubuntu 12.04 LTS, the Desktop Editions had a 3-year support cycle, while the Server Editions enjoyed 5-year support. However, since the release of 12.04 LTS, both Ubuntu Server and Desktop variants have transitioned to a unified 5-year support cycle. 
Considering these factors, users can confidently select either Ubuntu Server or Ubuntu Desktop based on their requirements, knowing that they have a shared kernel and equivalent support duration. You should use Ubuntu Desktop to use your computer as a daily driver. It includes a bevy of multimedia and productivity software. There's a GUI, and installation is pretty simple. Moreover, you can install server software to use Ubuntu Desktop as a server. For example, you might run a low-power Lenovo Think Server TS140 with Ubuntu Desktop. It gives you the option of hooking up a monitor and using the desktop environment. You might transform an Ubuntu server into a home theater PC with Linux Media Server software. Good options for this include Plex and Subsonic. Alternatively, you might even create a Linux game server using Ubuntu Desktop rather than Ubuntu Server. Ubuntu Server is best used for servers. That might seem obvious, but just like there are rack mount and tower servers, not all servers are the same. You should opt for Ubuntu Server over Ubuntu Desktop if you plan to run your server headless. You can always add a GUI later because the two Ubuntu flavors share a core kernel. Additionally, Ubuntu Server is best for specific varieties of servers where the packages are included. For example, you might consider Ubuntu Server when creating an email server or web server. Therefore, go with the option that's less work for your project. If Ubuntu Server includes the packages you need, use the server and install a desktop environment. Absolutely need a GUI but want server software that isn't included in the default server install? Well, use Ubuntu Desktop and install the software you need. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more Linux related content. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.